Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, uh, let's talk about how can we simply uh, create the G codes for a simple pot inside the Wars game. So let's get right into it. Before starting the video, if you are new on my channel, so make sure to subscribe to my channel to be part of the conversation. Thank you. What I wanted to do is just to make simply uh, uh, a simple pot so that I can create the G codes. Like, so let me just create a simple path first, and let me just create a center point rectangle like this. And let me just want to dimension the pot. Okay, so once you've done this, just exact the sketch, and after this, let me just give the extrusion of 15. Okay, so that's it. Now, what I want to do is just to create a pocket inside this, I will choose this face, and let me just simply add a pocket like this, uh, okay, a random pocket. Alright, uh, let me just go and create a cutout, uh, like supposedly, if I, I am not wrong, so let me just like 6 mm, okay. Alright, we have the sharp corners, but in case of machining, uh, you have to go for the idiom wide cut, right? So I don't want to do that because this is simply a prismatic pot, and I can just do machining with the two vines. So don't need. So for that, I just want to create a fillet of ten mm of radius because I can use the twenty millimeter tools for now. Sorry, this is build section, and that's it. Okay, here the radius is 10, so whatever the radius is 10, you can probably use uh, 20 diameter tools. So I don't want so, I wanna create, I wanna just use the 10 mm tools to just create a finished part for me, so that's why I'm just choosing this, 5 mm. And the part is quite ready. The next one I want to do is just to go to the Sorrows Cam and warm it. Right. If you don't get these options, right click, go to the tapes, and from here you will just find out here. Still, if you don't find this, you can add in from the software settings uh, and just scroll down. We have the software scheme 2021. All right. Uh, whenever you open up the software scheme in moment, uh, you'll be redirected to this kind of window. So what does this mean, like, uh, suppose, whenever you just want to manufacture any part, uh, what you need to do is just to do four things. Like, the first thing is just to define the machine zero, what exactly we call is the manufacturing coordinate system, or simply we call that as the MCS. The next is just to define the stock, the blank or the raw material. And finally, uh, or on, on the third portion, what exactly we want to create the tools uh, which has to be used while creating the G-codes for this part. And finally, we just create the pass processor. Uh, all right. So let me just show you all these things one by one. But Solvers can just simply simplify the things for you. How it does work, let me show you. First thing, I just want to define the machine. Because without defining the machine, right, uh, you will not exceed uh, and you will not proceed. Like, supposedly, if I just define the middle matrix 3 axis, 4 axis, and 5 axis. Based on the selection here, what it does here exactly, suppose you select the machine here. Based on the machine, you will be provided by certain kind of information and the tools, which is basically related to the, uh, to the certain type of machine. Suppose if I select the 3-axis, the 3-axis operation will pop up here, 4-axis and 5-axis. 
So if I select five axis machines, probably I will be using some multi-axis operations to uh, manufacture that part, to program that part. So for now, I'm just selecting the matrix three axis, and I want to just select, right? There's a lot of options, others too, but I'm not just uh, simply interested within that. I would just like the machine and then hit OK. So once you done the machine uh, selection, based on this, I'm getting the machining operation, like three axis mill operation, homing cycles, and the 2.5, or sometimes we can call this as the planar milling. Okay. So now, the next thing is just to define the machining coordinate system, or the machine zero. Because whenever a programmer wants to program a part, he must define the machine zero. And this what exactly in case of the programming language we can call this as the uh, coordinate system. All right, let me just define this coordinate system. You can, it will just take in the user defined. User defined means like, uh, you have to just uh, understand like your coordinate system or the MCL will just coincide with the part coordinate system but I don't want that because I just want to define by my own and you did define okay and source coordinate system it will just coincide with this but in user defined you can define like in your, you can just place anywhere where you want right so suppose stock bounding box and part bounding box uh let me just part bounding box so it's mean like the bounding points will be just pop up and you can just place your coordinates anywhere that you want okay and uh what next we can do is just do stock bounding box all right so why these options are because supposedly uh, part bounding box mean like uh, suppose if I have done one operation uh, and for the next operation I just want to define the MCS like we can have multiple MCS so that time this could be used but for now I have just the blank because I have an initial I just have a, a simple blank and based on that I just want to just uh, orient my Z axis the Z must be upward because the toolbar comes in Z direction and you can just flip it upward always, make sure. Alright, you can just play around because I just want to place this pop in this direction. In this direction on the machine bench or on the machine table. So this will be my X axis. So let me just click on X axis and this is my X axis. You can just flip the X and Y axis as well. Alright, now it's perfectly defined. I will hit OK. The next thing is just to define the blank, the raw material, or the stock. So this time I'm taking X, the fixed size box. If you want, you can add materials to the X positive direction. So only I want to define 12, right? Positive X axis, negative X axis, Y, Z. Whichever the direction you want to add the materials, because always the blanks are not in the exact size right sometimes it needs facing sometimes it's need for following sometimes it need uh, like some other kinds of operations so that's why you have to define it here and you have to apply uh, some other operations for that as well so that's why these options are available here so let me just take a fixed size bonding box and without adding any materials to, to any side and that's it Okay. All right. The next setup, mill setup, means like in which direction the toolbar comes. I will just use this top surface. Okay, so that it recognize okay the toolbar comes in this direction. We can apply some uh, some uh, some machining. Uh, features and parameters over here, but I'm not just concerned with that. I'm just left it up here because I want to create the uh, the operation separately, not out, not out, not over here. So that's why I'm just leaving it up here. And next, I want to extract the machinable features. Like the solvers would extract the features uh, which are supposed to be machines, but this time I have only and only one 
uh, features that is my this package and I just want to machine this so I will just extract the machinable features all right because this is uh, my one machinable features which is this pocket and I will just generate the operation plan operation plans defines like which operation will be done first and uh, the second operation will be followed by this 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 because this time if you know uh, it's using the tool number five uh, 20 flat and mill for the roughing operation for the second roughing operation it's using tool number three and it's using of 12 flat and mill but for the contour milling because this is uh, I know that like this is the finishing operation supposedly and if you want to change any of this just double click a window will pop up and you can just make changes within that like suppose you can just change the tool dimensions like you can just change the non-cutting portions properties and you can just change the uh, roughing parameters and many more you can just do that features options advanced post processors okay you can just play around with them but for now I'm just leaving it up here because a final I will be getting because servers make it easier for me like just to be getting the final product because if you look at the machine definition like here so here I was a tool grip it was lots of tool so now based on this tool grip how many tools we have uh, as you can as you can see over here uh, like we have the tool grip tool metric and we have the number of stations 20 all right so this is how and we have 13 tools in this tool grip so based on this it has like a certain tools so that it's uh, 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 and these tools are quite uh, related to this part right because this is a planner part and I will be getting the exact part at the final and now let me just generate the tool path tool path means the path which is followed by the tool and let me just simulate the path let me just load on the speed and simulation you can just play around with different kind of things like display options you want to show the tools here we have some other options to show me the collisions suppose when your tools are supposed to collide with something but let me just play see this is my roughing operation and I always make sure to use the bigger tool for the roughing operations because we want to remove the maximum material in the first operation as much as possible and that's it see let me just increase the speed a second tool comes up and create some extra material in the second operation And finally, a small tool comes so that to just clear out the rest of the materials what has been remained at the corners. So this was how like you can just uh, create a simple program inside the SolidWorks. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, to be getting such important tutorials related to the SOLIDWORKS Fusion 360 and NX game. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. You can just display certain options. You can just display the tools and set it display. Okay. So that's it for today, see you in the next tutorial, thanks for watching.